my name is Jacqueline Matthew. Welcome to Munden Nuevo Heritage Museum. Munden Nuevo Heritage Museum is part of the Tamana Mountain Trophy. So what inspired you all to make this museum? We always love history and we realize that a lot of things from the past were being thrown away. People were just discarding our culture, things that we were used long ago. We decided that it's best that we create an area where we can house some of these things so that in the future people could come and see things that were used in the past, especially children who would see how our lifestyle were before their time. Hence, Virgin Generation Gap. But some of the things were obtained in abandoned cocoa estates and in first city areas, the bottles we found these in abandoned estates where people had houses in bush long ago and they have a place where they stack the bottles. So most of the bottles that we found, especially these, were found in areas where people used to live long ago. Also, this is what they call a donkey's crop. This is what they put on the donkey's back and hang two baskets over it for the samwa and they carry the cocoa beans or coffee from the estate into the dry houses. This is known as the yoke for the oxen or the bull and they would hook up the cat, the bull cat, to the bull with this yoke here. We also have a miniature cane juicer. Long ago they would have a pole in a tree behind the house and they would install the, a, a, a pole like that and somebody would be feeding the, the sugar cane and they would press it like that and all the sugar cane juice would come down and fall into a bucket to be collected and drunk. Mostly done on a Sunday evening for relaxation with the family. Our niece Leandra Lachman and our children Megan Ocean and Zari, they assist with curating, labeling you and checking out all the information on all our artifacts here. Especially, oh, especially our bottle, these are 1800s. These are the 1800s, so it's very interesting getting to know the ages of the bottle. And it was hand blown, was she made, all of that has been, we will learn a lot about that. So what is the one artifact in the museum you and people are most excited to see? Well, definitely the Amerindian artifacts. Jackie's grandmother came from Dominica. She was a Carib. So Jackie is one of the direct descendants of the Carib people in Trinidad. So all these stuff here, when people come, they are most excited about it. Especially things like this, which is a spoon axe that was used to cut things. Remember in those times, there were no metal, no cutlasses or anything. So the tools that we used then were made out of stone. And this is one of the stone acts that we used. This item here is one of the religious stones that they use. And once you see a cutting on stones, this would indicate the type of religious celebration that was carried out. These here are the type, different types of food that the Armenian people had. So these were found in the site in Manzanera. And these are the variety of food that they eat mostly. They live mostly along the coast. So most of their food were either chip chip or shellfish as we see these here. These items here were donated by a Tuss, by the Carib Queen, who was who reigned from 1988 to, to 2000. Her name Justin. was Justa Burgess, and this is her here when she was inaugurated in 1988. And all these stuff here were given to us by her daughter, Miss Maggie. And these were handmade, these items were handmade by the character. This is her personal basket that was used, uh, that she carried her stuff around with this basket. And this hammock was given to her by the character when they came to visit in Trinidad from Dominica. And who, her daughter donated all these things for us. And this is one of the highlights of the museum. When people come, these are the things that they are mostly attracted to in the museum. There's so much more to see at the Mondo Nuevo Heritage Museum. If you'd like to book a tour of the museum, be sure to contact Martin and Jackie at 383-7472 or email them at farmermatthew51 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video from the Coco Development Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and on Instagram.